I chuckled when I saw this. <laughs> hmm. But before we get to that, I want to go back to 1991, when Apple, Apple announced and shipped its first power books. This was the first modern laptop computer. Apple actually invented the modern laptop computer with these power books. It was the first laptop that had a TFT screen, the first modern LCD screens. It was the first laptop that pushed the keyboard up, creating palm rests, and had an integrated pointing device, in this case, a trackball. Well, of course, almost 20 years later, we've got incredible laptops now. Just a few years ago, in 2007, Apple reinvented the phone with the iPhone. And a few years later, we've got the great iPhone 3GS, the best phone in the world. And so all of us use laptops and smartphones now. Everybody uses a laptop and or a smartphone. And the question has arisen lately, is there room for a third category of device in the middle? Something that's between a laptop and a smartphone. And of course, we've pondered this question for years as well. The bar is pretty high. In order to really create a new category of devices, those devices are going to have to be far better at doing some key tasks. They're going to have to be far better at doing some really important things, better than the laptop, better than the smartphone. What kind of tasks? Well, things like browsing the web. That's a pretty tall order. Something that's better at browsing the web than a laptop? OK. Doing email. Enjoying and sharing photographs. Video, watching videos. Enjoying your music collection. Playing games. Reading ebooks. If there's going to be a third category of device, it's going to have to be better at these kinds of tasks than a laptop or a smartphone. Otherwise, it has no reason for being. Now, some people have thought, but that's a netbook. The problem is, netbooks aren't better at anything. <laughs> they, they're slow, they have low quality displays, and they run clunky old PC software. So they're not better than a laptop at anything, they're just cheaper. They're just cheap laptops. And we don't think that they're a third category device. But we think we've got something that is. And we'd like to show it to you today for the first time. And we call it the iPad. So let me show it to you now. This is what it looks like. I happen to have one right here. That's what it looks like. Very thin. It's just like this. The iPad, a line of tablet computers developed by Apple Incorporated, made its debut on January 27, 2010. The iPad series encompasses the original iPad lineup, along with iPad Mini, iPad Air, and iPad Pro. The iOS operating system, initially used by the iPhone and the iPad, Transition to a fork of iOS named iPadOS in September 2019, featuring enhanced hardware support and a user interface tailored for the iPad. Lauded for its groundbreaking software, the original iPad earned acclaim as one of the most influential inventions of 2010. As of the third quarter of 2021, the iPad commands a market share of 34.6%, finding applications not only in personal use but also in business, education, healthcare, and the government sectors. When exploring the iPad's configurations, it is worth noting that the iPad comes in two variants, Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi Plus Cellular. Complementing the iPad experience are various accessories, including the Apple Pencil, Magic Keyboard, and several adapters. In a 1983 speech, 
Apple co-founder and then CEO Steve Jobs expressed his vision, saying, Now, Apple's strategy is really simple. What we want to do is put an incredibly great computer in a book that you carry around with you, that you can learn how to use in 20 minutes. That's what we want to do. And we want to do it this decade. And we really want to do it with a radio link in it so you don't have to hook up to anything. You're in communication with all these larger databases and other computers. We don't know how to do that now. It's impossible technically. Steve Jobs' forward-thinking vision laid the groundwork for Apple's future innovations. In 1993, under the leadership of Apple's then-CEO John Scully, Apple worked on the Newton message pad. John Scully faced challenges with the message pad, particularly with its handwriting recognition feature, and the device was discontinued. Jobs, who returned to Apple in 1998 after an internal power struggle, played a crucial role in reshaping Apple's direction. Apple also explored a PowerBook Do-based tablet computer prototype but opted not to release it. In May 2004, Apple started the process of trademarking a design for a handheld computer in Europe, potentially alluding to the iPad. This sparked speculation, fueled further by a 2003 report alleging leaks from Apple-affiliated manufacturer Quant about Apple's wireless display orders. Subsequently, in May 2005, Apple filed U.S. design patent number D504889, featuring an illustration depicting a person touching and using a tablet device. The trademarking and patent filings mark significant steps toward the development of the iPad. In August 2008, Apple submitted a comprehensive 50-page patent application, complete with an illustration of hands touching and gesturing on a tablet computer. The concept of the iPad predates that of the iPhone, with Chief Design Officer Jonathan Ive envisioning an industrial design for a stylus-based tablet, the Macintosh Folio. In 1991, Jonathan Ive's early vision for a tablet laid the foundation for future developments. This laid the groundwork for a larger tablet prototype project codenamed K48. Started by Apple in 2004, I've initially aimed to prioritize the development of the iPad, but an agreement with Jobs led to the decision that the iPhone should take precedence and be prioritized, leading to its development and release before the iPad. The original iPad was unveiled on January 27, 2010, by Steve Jobs, with pre-orders beginning on March 12. Apple went ahead with the release of the iPad in the United States on April 3rd, introducing a Wi-Fi model, followed by the release of a Wi-Fi Plus 3G model on April 30th. Subsequently, Apple launched international versions on May 28th, July 23rd, and September 17th. The original iPad model boasted a 1 GHz Apple A4 custom design, high performance, low power system on a chip, and a Power VR SGX535 GPU, featuring four buttons, a home button, an on-off button, sleep-wake button, volume-up-down buttons, and a mute switch. The multi-touch display had a 1024 by 768 pixel resolution at 132 pixels per inch. As users explored the device's capabilities, they marveled at the seamless integration of hardware and software, a hallmark of Apple's design philosophy. The iPad 2 was unveiled on March 2, 2011, and hit the market on March 11. The iPad 2 is 33% slimmer and 15% lighter, incorporating a 1 GHz dual-core Apple A5 custom designed, high performance, low power system on a chip that runs twice as fast and has a 9 times faster graphics performance than the previous model. It was equipped with front and back cameras, also supporting FaceTime. To achieve a sleeker profile, Apple made strategic design choices such as dropping the stamp sheet metal frame around the display, opting for thinner glass for the screen overlay, and reducing the space between the display and battery. The iPad third generation was unveiled on March 7, 2012, and hit the market on March 16, powered by a dual-core Apple A5X custom designed, high performance, low power system on a chip with quad-core graphics. This generation showcased a groundbreaking retina display with an impressive resolution of 2048 by 1536 pixel resolution at 264 pixels per inch boasting pixels that are 50% denser than traditional displays, distinguishing itself from the iPhone and iPod Touch. The built-in apps on the iPad seamlessly adapt to portrait, landscape left, landscape right, and even upside-down orientations. This unique characteristic means that the device lacks a fixed native orientation, with only the relative position of the home button changing to accommodate user preferences. iPad users could now enjoy sharper text, more vibrant images, and a more immersive overall experience. The iPad fourth generation was unveiled on October 23, 2012, and hit the market on November 2, 
Featuring the Dual Core E6X with quad-core graphics, enhanced LTE and Wi-Fi connectivity, a 5-megapixel eyesight camera capable of recording 1080p videos, and a FaceTime HD camera offering 720p resolution, the display kept an impressive resolution of 2048 by 1536 resolution at 264 pixels per inch. The iPad's design also stood out, with its sleek aluminum body and thin profile. The iPad, fifth generation was unveiled on March 21, 2017, and hit the market on March 24. It incorporated the A9 chip with 64-bit architecture paired with an embedded M9 coprocessor, and its cameras could capture high-quality shots even in low-light conditions. On March 27, 2018, Apple unveiled and launched the iPad 6 generation. This generation incorporated the A10 Fusion chip with 64-bit architecture and showcased the 8-megapixel camera capable of 1080p at 30 frames per second, along with a 720p FaceTime HD camera. It marked the first inclusion of Apple Pencil support in the original iPad lineup. The device further boasts enhanced features such as accelerated FaceTime HD, LTE connectivity, Touch ID, and improved multitasking capabilities. On September 10, 2019, Apple unveiled the iPad 7th generation, which was subsequently launched on September 25, powered by the A10 Fusion chip with 64-bit architecture featuring a 4-core CPU and a 6-core GPU and an embedded M10 coprocessor. This generation keeps hallmark performance standards. Its expansive 10.2 inches retina display, boasting a resolution of 2160 by 1620 pixel resolution at 264 pixel per inch, equivalent to 3.5 million pixels, offers an immersive visual experience. The latest model integrates compatibility with the smart keyboard. The iPad, 8th generation was unveiled on September 15, 2020, and hit the market on September 18. It featured the A12 Bionic chip with 64-bit architecture and a neural engine. This chip boasts a 40% faster 6-core CPU and a 2 times faster 4-core GPU compared to the previous model. Introducing groundbreaking capabilities, the neural engine delivered an impressive processing speed of 5 trillion operations per second. The device maintains its visual excellence with a retina display that showcases a resolution of 2160 by 1620 pixel resolution at 264 pixels per inch. Apple has always been at the forefront of technological advancements, and this new generation is no exception. The retina display, with its vibrant colors and sharp resolution, ensures an immersive user experience. Users appreciated the seamless multitasking capabilities. Thanks to the enhanced CPU and GPU performance of the Apple A12 chip, the iPad 9th generation was unveiled and launched on September 14, 2021, powered by the A13 Bionic chip, boasting a 20% acceleration in both CPU and GPU, and featuring an embedded neural engine enriched with machine learning. Its 12-megapixel ultra-wide front camera introduces support for center stage, intelligently identifying individuals within the frame and dynamically tracking the camera view to ensure they remain centrally positioned. Additionally, the Retina display incorporates True Tone technology, automatically adapting the screen color temperature based on ambient lighting conditions. The announcement of the iPad 10th generation took place on October 18, 2022, with immediate pre-order availability and scheduled release on October 26, powered by the A14 Bionic chip. This generation features a larger 10.9-inch screen and replaces the lightning connector with USB-C, distinguishing itself from its predecessors. This iPad's front camera is positioned along the device's elongated edge, enhancing its suitability for video calling. The iPad continues to utilize the Apple Pencil, first generation with a provided USB-C to lightning adapter. This adapter is included with new Apple Pencil first generation purchases. The iPad 10th generation is designed to work seamlessly with the newly introduced Magic Keyboard Folio. The original iPad Mini was unveiled on October 23, 2012, and hit the market on November 2, powered by a dual core A5. It shares hardware similarities with the iPad 2. Features include a FaceTime HD camera, a 5 megapixel eyesight camera, rapid LTE wireless capabilities, and standard 802.11 BG and Wi-Fi connectivity. The iPad mini is strategically positioned to cater to the market of smaller tablets. The device quickly gained popularity, establishing itself as a formidable player in the tablet market. On October 22, 2013, Apple unveiled the iPad mini 2 and hit the market on November 12. The hardware design of this version mirrors that of the original iPad Air. 
The compact size and powerful features made it an instant hit among consumers. The announcement and subsequent release of the iPad Mini 3 took place on October 16, 2014, and October 22, respectively. This generation incorporates the A7 chip with 64-bit architecture and M7 motion coprocessor. The 7.9-inch Retina display boasts a resolution of 2048 by 1536 resolution at 326 pixels per inch. On September 9, 2015, Apple announced and released the iPad Mini 4. The device is powered by the A8 chip with 64-bit architecture and M8 motion coprocessor. Following the redesign, the 3.5mm headphone jack was repositioned with the removal of the mute switch. On March 18, 2019, Apple unveiled and launched the iPad Mini 5th generation. This model incorporated the advanced A12 Bionic chip with 64-bit architecture and neural engine, boasting a CPU that is three times faster and a GPU that is nine times faster compared to the previous model. Enhancements include a true tone-based retina display, characterized by a 25% broader color spectrum and increased pixel density. The announcement and release of the iPad Mini 6th generation took place on September 24, 2021, Powered by the A15 Bionic chip, the iPad mini boasts a 40% faster 6-core CPU with two performance cores and four efficiency cores and an 80% faster 5-core GPU. The inclusion of a 16-core neural engine and machine learning accelerators within the CPU results in a remarkable two times boost in machine learning performance. The 12-megapixel ultra-wide front camera incorporates center stage, while the 12-megapixel wide back camera features larger apertures, true tone flash, and Smart HDR Automatic Shadow and Highlight Recovery. The iPad Mini is equipped with a USB-C port, easing the transfer of up to 5 gigabits per second of data, alongside improved landscape stereo speakers and a brighter liquid retina display. On October 22, 2013, the iPad Air was unveiled and hit the market on November 1st. The device featured an A7 chip with 64-bit architecture and M7 motion coprocessor, boasting over a billion transistors and delivering a two times faster CPU and GPU. iPad Air pioneered the use of 802.11N based Mino technology for Wi-Fi connectivity and introduced an extended range of LTE telecommunication. Furthermore, the device showcased a retina display. On October 16, 2014, Apple unveiled the iPad Air 2. Officially launched on October 22, it incorporated the advanced A8X chip with 64-bit architecture boasting a 2.5 times faster CPU performance. This device featured an 8-megapixel EyeSight camera with an f2.4 aperture, while the FaceTime HD camera boasted an f2.2 aperture and 81% light capacity. The iPad Air's display underwent enhancements, displaying a 56% lower reflective rate. Additionally, the iPad Air offered an extended range of LTE telecommunication services, enhancing connectivity options for users. The iPad Air third generation made its debut on March 18, 2019, hitting the market on March 25th. It harnessed the power of a 12 Bionic chip with 64-bit architecture, featuring an embedded M12 coprocessor and neural engine, boasting 866 megabits per second Wi-Fi connectivity. It also supported LTE technology. Additionally, the device sported a 1080p HD video recording. On September 15, 2020, the announcement and subsequent release of the iPad Air 4th generation captivated tech enthusiasts. The device, powered by the A14 Bionic chip with 64-bit architecture with an impressive 11.9 billion transistors, boasted a 40% faster 6-core CPU and a 30% speedier 4-core GPU. The embedded neural engine added another layer of capability, processing a remarkable 11 trillion operations per second with a 10.9-inch liquid retina display showcasing a resolution of 2360 by 1640 pixel resolution at 264 pixels per inch, equivalent to 3.8 million pixels. The iPad Air delivered a stunning visual experience. The 7-megapixel FaceTime HD camera, capable of recording at 1080p and 60 frames per second, complemented the device's multimedia prowess. Simultaneously, the 12-megapixel rear camera, featuring an aperture of 8, showcased 4K capabilities at 60 frames per second and advanced video stabilization. Overall, the iPad Air showed a formidable blend of power and efficiency, setting a new standard in the realm of tablets. The iPad Air 5th generation was unveiled on March 8, 2022, and hit the market on March 18. This new model features the Apple M1 chip, 
The iPad Air has quickly become a popular choice for professionals and creatives alike, thanks to its impressive capabilities and portability. Whether used for work or leisure, the iPad Air offers a seamless and enjoyable user experience. The iPad Pro 12.9 inch was unveiled on September 9, 2015, with subsequent release on November 11, and the iPad Pro 9.7 inch was unveiled on March 21, 2016, subsequent release on March 31, powered by the A9X chip with 64 bit architecture and embedded M9 co processor. It boasted a 2 times higher memory bandwidth and a 1.8 times faster CPU compared to the previous chip. The audio system featured four audio ports, showing a volume efficiency three times greater than the iPad Air 2. The 12-inch screen display showcased 2732 by 2048 resolution at 264 pixels per inch. The iPad Pro 12.9-inch, second generation, and iPad Pro 10.5-inch was unveiled on June 5, 2017, and launched on June 13. Harness the power of the A10X Fusion chip with 64-bit architecture and embedded M10 coprocessor. Boasting a 6-core CPU and 12-core GPU, this device showcased an impressive capability to process media at 120Hz HDR quality, a notable 2 times enhancement compared to its predecessor. The ultra-low reflective retina display was a standout feature, incorporating a 50% optimized True Tone technology that intelligently adjusted the screen based on ambient color and brightness conditions. Additionally, it embraced wide color integration and achieved up to 500 nit brightness rates. The device was equipped with a 7 megapixel FaceTime HD camera and a 12 megapixel rear camera. On October 30th, 2018, Apple unveiled the iPad Pro 12.9 inch, third generation, and iPad Pro 11 inch, which hit the shelves on November 7th. This generation marks a significant advancement as the iPad Pro becomes the first model accommodating a substantial one terabytes of storage. Powered by a 7 nanometer A12X Bionic chip with 64-bit architecture, boasting a remarkable 11 billion transistors, the chip features an 8-core CPU, a 7-core GPU, and an integrated neural engine with a capacity for handling 5 trillion operations per second, along with an embedded M12 coprocessor. A noteworthy change in the iPad Pro is the replacement of Touch ID with Face ID. When considering the enhanced security features, Users appreciate the seamless and secure experience that Face ID provides. The iPad Pro 12.9-inch, 4th generation, and iPad Pro 11-inch, 2nd generation was officially announced and made available on March 18, 2020. Powered by the A12 Zubayani chip with 64-bit architecture featuring an 8-core CPU and 8-core GPU, this version supported distinctive Wi-Fi connectivity excellence, achieving a 60% boost over the previous model. It introduced a 10-megapixel ultra-wide camera complementing the existing 12-megapixel wide camera. Capable of recording in 4K resolution, these advanced camera features enhance media capture with broader perspectives. While the audio system automatically finds and orients towards surrounding sound sources, the iPad Pro's innovative design integrates seamlessly with user needs, making it a powerful and versatile device for various tasks. On April 20, 2021, Apple unveiled the iPad Pro 12.9-inch, 5th generation, and iPad Pro 11-inch, 3rd generation, which hit the shelves on May 21. The innovative desktop-class Apple M1 chip powered this new generation, boasting a 40% faster 8-core CPU, a 4 times faster 8-core GPU, and a 4 times higher bandwidth. The device featured a 1.8 aperture 12-megapixel wide camera for capturing high-quality shots, and a 2.4 aperture 10 megapixel ultra wide camera for an enhanced augmented reality interactive experience. This generation introduced center stage, capable of pinpointing users' positions and automatically adjusting the camera view to prospectively centralize them. The 12.9 inch model of the iPad Pro stood out with its mini LED based liquid retina XDR display, distinguishing itself from the 11 inch model's liquid retina display. The announcement for the iPad Pro 12.9 inch, 6th generation, and iPad Pro 11 inch, 4th generation was made on October 18, 2022, and it was subsequently released on October 26. Powering this generation is the Apple M2 chip, featuring an 8 core CPU and a 10 core GPU. With its sleek design and advanced features, users quickly embraced the iPad Pro, making it a notable addition to Apple's lineup. The iPad is available in two variants, Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi Plus Cellular. The cellular-enabled iPad features an added micro-SIM slot on the side, 
The 3G compatible iPad can function with any GSM carrier. The original iPad's T-Mobile cellular access was constrained to slower edge speeds due to network frequency disparities at the time. The iPad 2 introduced a third tier of CDMA support from Verizon, available independently of the AT&T-based version. Following this, the iPad, fifth generation adopted a nano-SIM slot, deviating from its predecessors that used micro-SIMs. Both frequency bands of the iPad support quad-band GSM and quad-band UMTS frequencies. Apple significantly expanded global cellular compatibilities with the iPad 5th generation and the iPad mini 2, offering compatibility with major carriers throughout North America. The iPad Air and iPad mini are available in two cellular subvariants, both equipped with nanosims, quad-band GSM, pentaband UMTS, and dual-band CDMA of do revision A and B. Apple provides a diverse range of accessories for its iPad models, encompassing Apple Pencil, cases, keyboards, and several adapters. Included in Apple's lineup of accessories is the Apple Pencil. Apple Pencil sets the standard for how drawing, note-taking, and marking up documents should feel intuitive, precise, and magical, all with pixel-perfect precision, low latency, tilt sensitivity, and support for palm rejection, incredibly easy to use and ready when inspiration strikes. The smart cover is a magnetic screen protector with three folds that aligns to the face of an iPad and can be converted into a stand. The smart keyboard folio is an externally paired keyboard. Additionally, there is the Magic Keyboard, an externally paired keyboard similar to the former options but equipped with a trackpad. Since its debut in 2010, the iPad ran on the iOS operating system originally featured on the iPhone. However, in September 2019, it underwent a strategic evolution with the introduction of iPadOS, a specialized derivation optimized for the iPad. This new operating system not only inherits the development environment of its predecessor but also seamlessly incorporates many of the apps and features characteristic of iOS. iPad boasts compatibility with virtually every iPhone app through the iOS platform, empowering developers to enhance these apps specifically for the iPad software. Utilizing the iOS SDK, when exploring the user interface of iPadOS, one can see the principle of direct manipulation, employing multi-touch gestures such as tap, touch and hold, swipe, scroll, and zoom. Interface control elements encompass sliders, switches, and buttons. Certain apps use internal accelerometers to respond to device movements, like shaking, often resulting in the undo command, or rotations, easing the switch between portrait and landscape modes. A diverse range of accessibility functions ensures that users with vision and hearing disabilities can effectively navigate and engage with iOS. iPadOS starts by booting to the home screen, a central navigation and information hub akin to the desktop on the Mac. The home screen typically includes app icons and widgets. App icons function as launch points for their respective apps, while widgets offer dynamic, auto-updating content directly on the home screen, such as real-time weather forecasts, email inboxes, or news stickers. At the top of the screen, a status bar provides information regarding the device and its connectivity. Within the status bar, two integral elements are housed. The control center and the notification center. iPadOS keeps a streamlined and intuitive control center accessible by pulling down from the top right of the device. This feature provides users with quick access to essential toggles for efficient device management without the need to navigate through settings. Users can conveniently control settings like brightness, volume, wireless connections, and the music player. The home screen consists of multiple pages that users can navigate by swiping left or right, which can also be achieved by holding down on the dots displayed on each page. The last page features the app library, where apps are grouped by categories. Categories include suggested apps and a recent category listing newly installed apps and recently accessed app clips, allowing users to search or browse alphabetically. The multitasking capabilities of iPadOS are eased through its API, incorporating various functionalities. This includes background audio, allowing apps to run in the background while playing audio or video content. Voice over IP enables the application to suspend when a phone call is not in progress. Other features involve push notification, local notifications for scheduled delivery, task completion for extended task time, fast app switching, new stand for background content downloads, external accessory for communication with external devices, Bluetooth accessory for Bluetooth communication, and background application update. These functionalities enhance the overall user experience.
iPadOS boasts the multitasking system featuring innovations, such as split view, and slide over to enable the concurrent use of multiple apps. Activating the display of currently active spaces can be achieved by double-clicking the home button or swiping up from the screen's bottom and pausing. Each space accommodates a single app or a split view with two apps, and users can effortlessly navigate between spaces by swiping left or right on the home indicator. In iPadOS, summoning the dock while using an app involves a slight swipe up from the screen's bottom edge. The dock allows users to drag apps to different areas, opening them in either split view or slide over. Creating a split view is as simple as dragging an app to the left or right edge of the screen, adjusting the size of the two apps by manipulating a pill-shaped icon in the center of the vertical divider. Closing a respective app in split view involves dragging the divider to one side of the screen. Additionally, dragging an app from the dock over the current app creates a floating window called slide over, which can be placed on either side of the screen. Swiping off the right side hides the slide over window, and swiping left from the right edge restores it. Cycling between slide over apps is achieved by swiping left or right on the home indicator in the slide over window, and pulling up opens an app switcher for slide over windows. Furthermore, a pill-shaped icon at the top of apps in split view or slide over helps seamless switching in and out of these views. The media reception to the original iPad was diverse. Observers highlighted the enthusiastic reaction from the device's fan base, clear in the large queues that formed on the first day of sale in various countries. Following its launch in 2010, the iPad swiftly achieved significant commercial success. With large sales figures, the widespread acclaim for the iPad showcased its revolutionary design and functionality, attracting a broad consumer base beyond tech enthusiasts. In 2010, Apple's original iPad garnered recognition, being named one of the 50 best inventions of the year by Time magazine and securing a spot as the leading gadget, second only to the overall best of Watt's new 2010 champion, Grossus Waterbox. As chosen by popular science, the iPad's sleek design and innovative features captivated consumers, making it a meaningful change in the tech industry. Apple's marketing strategy for the iPad emphasized its versatility, appealing to a wide range of users, as the iPad gained popularity, critics praised its user-friendly interface and robust app ecosystem. Consumers, eager to embrace the latest technology, flocked to stores to get their hands on the groundbreaking device. The iPad's success marked a pivotal moment in the evolution of personal computing. The iPad kept a consistent position in the global tablet market share, experiencing a notable decline in the third quarter of 2012. It later showed a gradual recovery albeit not reaching its previous peak. As of the third quarter of 2021, the iPad secured a market share of 34.6%. While its competitors faced challenges, the iPad's resilience and ongoing innovation played a crucial role in keeping its market dominance. The iPad, while primarily embraced by consumers, has found considerable adoption among business users within just 90 days of its debut. The iPad had permeated 50% of Fortune 100 companies. Some enterprises are integrating iPads into their office environments, either by distributing devices to employees or making them readily available. Illustrative applications in professional settings encompass attorneys promptly responding to clients, medical professionals accessing health records during patient examinations, and managers efficiently approving employee requests. According to a Frost & Sullivan survey, the use of iPads in office workplaces aligns with aims such as heightened employee productivity, diminished paperwork, and increased revenue. The research firm expects significant growth in the North American mobile office application market, estimating a potential increase from $1.76 billion in 2010 to around $6.85 billion in 2015. Since March 2011, the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration has granted approval for in cockpit use of the iPad aiming to reduce paper consumption across multiple airlines. Alaska Airlines pioneered this shift in 2011 by replacing pilots' paper manuals with iPads, significantly reducing weight from 24 pounds to 1.5 pounds. This move not only aims to enhance efficiency but also looks to minimize back and muscle injuries among pilots. Subsequently, numerous airlines, including United, have embraced this initiative, distributing thousands of iPads to cockpit crews. Additionally, Many airlines now provide their in-flight magazines as downloadable apps for the iPad. The iPad has found significant applications in education, earning acclaim as a valuable tool for homeschooling and distance learning. Early on, 
Reports show that 81% of the leading book apps were designed for children on the iPad. The iPad has been hailed as a revolutionary aid for children with autism, easing improved communication and socialization skills. In the healthcare sector, both iPads and iPhones have been instrumental in enhancing supply chain management for hospitals. Guillermo Ramos from Novation emphasizes the practicality of iPads in a hospital setting, saying, doctors won't walk around a hospital with a laptop. With an iPad it's perfect to walk around the hospital with as long as they have the information they need. The iPad supports various music creation apps such as GarageBand. These apps encompass sound samplers, guitar and voice effects processors, sequencers for synthesized sounds and sampled loops, virtual synthesizers, drum machines, theremin-style instruments, and other touch-responsive musical tools. Damon Albarn of Gorillaz produced the band's 2010 album, The Fall, almost entirely using the iPad while on tour. Similarly, the music video for Lunacy's 2012 single, Rouge, was exclusively filmed using an iPad, underscoring the device's creative potential. The iPad's versatility is clear in its widespread adoption across various creative fields. Its impact extends beyond the realm of music, showcasing the device's ability to revolutionize how tasks are approached and executed. As technology continues to advance, the iPad still is a symbol of innovation, leaving an indelible mark on both entertainment and productivity.